Hi, let's get right into the video. These are some designs from the main Super Mario characters. Starting off with Mario, I used the symmetry tool to make designing the head way easier and faster. I wanted Mario to have a more stylized and edgy look, but at the same time keep some cartoony proportions like with his big nose and eyebrows. I wanted to keep his overall shapes round to keep some visual interest. The brush I'm using is one of the inking brushes in Procreate called Syrup, and I love the uneven line thickness that you can get. I wanted to keep his lines very loose and expressive. For the full body pose, I spent quite a bit of time getting the proportions right and making sure his weight was balanced. You can see I went over my rough lines like three times before I was happy to move on to color. And I spent a little extra time on the hands and the feet just to make sure that those looked correct as well. His screen left hand was probably the toughest thing to do in this drawing. So although for this style the line work doesn't have to be super clean, I do want it to be clear and readable. Also with the lines, I want them to be confident and deliberate. The idea was to not get caught up in the details, but work with the flow and feel of the character and the piece. So the color was pretty straightforward, but I did struggle a lot with the flame. You can see I just couldn't get it to look right. I tried a whole bunch of brushes and blur tools and other tools in Procreate. I tried different shapes, different colors, but in the end, I think a spatter brush was what gave me the look I was looking for. At this stage, I'm just adding some textures, some grunge, and a color dodge layer to add the lighting effect on his body from the flame. For character drawings like this, I find even adding a small background adds some visual interest and makes the piece look more finished. Now, Luigi was my favorite to do. I wanted to contrast the round shapes of Mario with longer, sharper shapes of Luigi. The symmetry tool really helped quickly lay down my baseline work. Now I'm adding just some variation in the skin tone and hair. I find this really adds a lot of visual interest to look at. For Princess Peach, I wanted to exaggerate certain things like her lips and her neck, but I also wanted her to fit in that same style as Mario and Luigi. You'll see me flipping back and forth and adjusting her head and eyes until they look just right. At this point, I noticed her head and hair was a little too big, so after scaling everything in, I started to add the color. I wanted to be very deliberate with the shapes of my shadows. I really wanted to emphasize the planes of the face. Some finishing touches now, and I think the slight blue eyeshadow really goes a long way. The final piece, the King Koopa himself, Bowser. Here, I'm experimenting with the shape of the head, different eyebrows, different eyes, before I settle on a final design. For the hair on top of his head, I even turned off the symmetry tool to make it a little more interesting to look at. I really wanted to contrast his giant muzzle with really tiny eyes. I find this makes him more interesting and not so even. At this point, I'm just cleaning up my rough line work. All the hard thinking is already done. Working under my line work, I added a layer of shadows, and then I filled in the base color. I used the multiply blending mode for the shadows and the overlay for the light. But what I think really made this piece pop was the textures in the skin and in the hair. Procreate has so many custom brushes that you can use right when you open the software. So no need to download different packs of brushes, it all comes included. So here are the finished pieces. They were a lot of fun to do and relatively quick using the symmetry tool. If you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Comment below if you've ever used Procreate before. Well, thanks again and I'll see everybody in the next video.